a final turn here, trying to get as many maxed out behemoths as we can. As many maxed out behemoths as we can. This is quite possibly the most difficult challenge I have ever taken on. When you see a Peach of Immortality build reach up around 30 Peach mark, it's easy to think that pivoting into a full team of max behemoths would be a cakewalk. But then you also have to factor in the fact that every behemoth on your team is a slot that you can no longer fill with cats or sauropods or even hamsters. This presents a super awkward build path where you rank up Peaches with sauropods, then at some point you have to get a cat and just start selling off sauropods, relying solely on the crack dream of randomly rolling into peaches and behemoths. The time it takes to add another max behemoth to team grows exponentially as you continue along this path. It really takes the stars aligning to get anywhere near 5 max behemoths. So can we pull it off, or will we be relegated to a team that almost achieved the impossible? Let's find out. Love to see it. What do we get here? I mean, I'm kind of tempted to f send a stout. Our guest is decent. Maybe we just run a tropical fish for a second here. Not that we're keeping the chinchilla, but just so we can, you know, hold our own here for a little bit. Let's even run it like this here. So yeah, we need to get, I think, set up so that we try to draw as many as we can. Now, of course, it would make it significantly easier, and we get another draw here, which is huge, um, if we just ran, like, <laughs> a bunch of hedgehogs or something, but that's not allowed. That's cheating. Um, let's not level yet. Okay, maybe we do. When, it, when you get this kind of situation, you kind of have to take a level. Mmm, that's tough. I think we can sell here and then do some weird... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this is supposed to do, but we're getting extra health on our bar guest, which I guess is not a bad thing. Let's see. I mean, this is looking not great. <laughs> we got our first loss. That's alright. Losing to an 0-3 team hurts a little bit, but We'll survive. Dog is great. Skeleton dog. Stoat. I mean, seeing the enemy is tempting, especially when you have a stoat and a mouse in the shop here. I don't know how much we're really going to get out of it, but it's, it's worth a shot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. We're talking a little bit here. We go here. And then hmm, we'll take a snail. The problem is I don't know who, who we're going for here. Right, because we have... If we can get doubles, that'd be awesome. Maybe get the level 3 skeleton dog. That would cover most of our scaling, to be honest. A draw team. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Um... No, we win. Just kidding. A bad draw team is unfortunate. Let's just stock up on some lettuce. Turn three is like peak lettuce territory. That's where all the lettuce thrives. A little avocado, because we're on an even turn. I mean, taking inventory here, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're, you know, one win at turn six. We'll take it. Could definitely be worse. Um, we will draw. Win. We will win. We buffed our bar guest too much. <laughs> I think this might be an issue. Um, double mantas. Something. Pairs well with our sea anemone. 
try to go some sort of goofy buy sell something or another. I don't think buy sell is worth it until you get level two. So right now we're kind of business as usual. Just grab stuff that works. Manta Ray level two. Uh, spoiler alert works. It's actually pretty darn good. I think we're, we're definitely greeting here. I mean, this is as good as you could hope for. First turn on tier four, you get a level two Manta Ray. Full send. <laughs> Let's see it. That's fantastic. What is this chicken nonsense we got going here? Hatching chick. Actually, it's great. That's a draw. We love it. Get a little eagle action. Maybe, ooh, we get a pill. We don't want a pill yet though, we want a tier 6. We want to turn this eagle into a, into a sauropod. Oh, I can't decide if the Skeledog is good. The anemone with the chinchilla feels good. Maybe we try it. We could potentially find another anemone. Please? Okay, it didn't work, <laughs> and it buffed our loyal chinchilla. Very unfortunate. Um, I don't know what to do. I think we're just putting a peach on you and calling it a day. That was a weird turn. I'm not huge on that one. There's probably a better way to run that, <laughs> but we're here. It's all good. Maybe we draw again? Maybe we... Maybe we draw again? Ooh, okay. Two wins going into turn nine. Lovely to love to see it. What do we get? Eagle. Sauropod me. Quetzalcoatl. I don't think... If we get the owl level three super quick, it might still be worthwhile. Maybe. What do we get here? Sell this. We get a chocolate. Okay. Hmm. We could do the classic buy sell strat. Ooh, but now we have a sauropod. So. <laughs> uh, how do you even run this? Are we keeping the sauropod or are we putting the owl? I don't know. Let's try to make use while we have these two cost foods here. Do a little buy sell. I want to take the owl. <laughs> is it worth it? I don't know. I, I can't convince myself that it is. But also, at the same time, what is Quetzalcoatl doing for us? Nothing. Maybe we should have put the owl just level one in place of the Quetzal. I'm not sure. <laughs> we buffed the Quetzal. Should have sold the Quetzal earlier. My bad. We'll take a crane. Cranes are good. Cranes are just solid units. Great tier 5, love to see it. Um, Crane is killing it for us. Do we... no. We almost get there. A to Z standard coming back. Revenge. Um, so we can't get peaches from the squirrel yet. But it might still be worth it since we have this homie here. Getting plus 2, plus 2. A little grapes action. I mean, cow is sauropod triggers. If we can get some sauropods cooking pretty soon here, I think we're in a good spot. So far, it's been a little dry. We got one. Uh, granted, we're not on tier six yet, so <laughs> maybe that has something to do with it. But we're getting there. A cat. That will come in handy. Do we go cat now? Is the question. Uh, I think we don't yet. I'd kind of like to... see this through here for a second. Because if we get some more cows, we could like cow a couple of times and then play cat. Puts us in a pretty commanding position. Lets us pivot into the sauropod a little bit. 
I think for now we leave the food spots open looking for peaches. Uh, very fortunate on that one, I think. Okay, we got a draw. That's huge. That is huge. How the heck are we still on two wins, by the way? All right, we got the cat. Bring on the peaches. We got Sauropod. Love to see it. Um, since we haven't played Peach yet, Avocado is actually pretty good here. I think we Tofu for it, though. Oh, man. I think it's time. Yes, this is a buy sell. But I think it's time to get out, get away from the Sea Anemone. At this point, it's just bait. Honestly, Manta Ray is too. I'm, I'm thinking. I feel like at this point, we're better off just... Put as many sauropods as we can on the team. A little pear action. A little, a little hamster action. Let's use up all of our sauropod triggers here, and then we can roll a bunch of times. Might as well do this, right? Behemoth eventually, but not yet. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you put the hamster on here... Okay. I wasn't sure how the triggers worked that way. I think it keeps the triggers of whoever you put it on. If I had done it the other way, it wouldn't have worked. Tofu works. We run here, we get four more rolls. Love to see it. Can we get some peaches, maybe? I'm gonna make sure I play this as efficiently as we can. That's two cats. Oh my lord. Okay. Chocolate. That's not gonna cut it. Another sauropod. Okay, we'll take a cat, I think. There's a world in which we combine these two level two sauropods. Um, it's hard, because you always want to do the trigger reset, but... Sometimes it's just not worth it. You just got to accept that. Another draw. <laughs> this might be the run, y'all. I don't know. If you're watching this, it it could be. Um, roll me. Keep going. I think Behemoth is too early. We got a lot of peach scaling to do. I don't think we found any peaches yet, to be honest. Which begs the question of why you would want to have... Ooh, we found our first peach. Okay, so... I think we start here. Level up our cat, homie. So it's hard. A lot of the ways that we're going to get huge value from these sauropods is by stacking and resetting the triggers at level 2. But we don't have any room on our team. See, same thing with the hamster. So, okay, this might look insane, but I think we sell Behemoth here. That way we can refresh these triggers, keep things moving along. I think it's the only way we're going to get... Ooh, that's huge. Only way we're going to get here in time is by doing it this way. Um, actually probably should have done this the other way. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have reset before... Uh, let's see what we get. Another sauropod. I'd love to do the hamster thing. Tofu is huge. It's like enormous. Though I think what we're going to end up doing here is freeze the peach and we're going to play a homie. We can just like throw grapes on somebody. Okay, I think that's good. Because we want to we want to enable tofu as long as we can, because it doubles our chances of finding peaches. So you want to make sure that you're holding on to a peach, regardless. No matter what, you want to have a peach frozen at the end of the each round if possible. Um, sauropod's huge. 
let's just do this. Because, yeah, the triggers are going to be a little weird, but I think it's still worth it to just set it up like this here. And there we go. We got the double cat triggers. <laughs> Love to see it. So we get a little bit of the, the hamster shenanigans here. I think this is one of those you gotta get rid of the cat. It's a weird play, but we have so much runway, I think we gotta get super greedy here. There we go, hamster. And honestly, I think we run chocolate. It looks weird. And I, I understand if you're cringing right now at running chocolate. <laughs> but the reason I think this is worthwhile is because the earlier we can get all these sauropods to super high levels, the faster we can just start spamming peaches over and over. So, I think we just gotta... Is albino squirrel... Is it worth it, statistically speaking? I don't know. I'm not sure if it is. Like, are we gonna get more peaches of immortality slash tofu with the albino squirrel? Probably, right? We're at six, which is okay. A little hamster action, a little sauropod reset triggers. Okay, I mean, yeah, I think we just do this. Maybe it's not worth it, I'm not sure. But I think getting these early levels helps out a lot. Especially with such a high runway. We're at two wins on turn 13. It's insane. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Um, not seeing a whole lot of anything right now, though. We also don't really mind if we tofu chocolate here. Maybe we just start running stuff. A little crow action. Get you back online. Another sauropod. Love to see it. And this is where we can get a little greedy here. Tofu. Uh, maybe. I don't think... It, it is two triggers. Maybe we do. It gets you back online. Keeps the gold coming in. And now we're almost at triple level threes. Okay, maybe that wasn't worth it. <laughs> we're getting a lot of tofu. I kind of wish they were peaches at this point. Mmm, we can throw an avocado in the mix. Another oyster. Throw the crow on, leave him so we don't have to freeze the chocolate and we can roll for foods. So many tofus. So few peaches. Maybe this is biting us in the end. I don't know though, because we are also getting a lot more levels very early. We already have a chocolate ready with the crow. We gotta find something. What is going on right now? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think we're just rolling it. There's a peach. Okay. We got peach cued for next turn. We're not going to do chocolates. I think we're just going to have to sell the crow and roll past the chocolate. Um, actually, well, we might not need to. Depending how it plays out. Because we also got to keep in mind we can chocolate and then peach if we have a peach ready. So we could also just kind of roll until we find another peach. But if we find a, an oyster or something, I think we just ditch the crow. Or if we find a cat, maybe? There is a peach, though. It's hard. It, this is such a strange, even round. We might have messed up our gold there. It's such a strange setup, because you're ultimately trying to get a ton of sauropods, but also get some cats and behemoths going. <laughs> like, when do you pivot, right? 
as soon as you pivot, you run out of, like, economy. You get rid of all your economy pets for behemoths. You gotta, like, really time it super well. That's a weird setup. Now we can't use this peach, or else we're wasting money. What are we getting? 3, 6, 9? We get chocolate here, actually. And then peach. <laughs> we're maxed out again. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's just roll for peaches. I think that's all we can do. We got so much runway still. I think we've gotten the levels we need. Let's just full send peaches for a couple of turns. Get as many triggers as we can. There's the tofu. Love to see it. I don't really know who to put it on. It ultimately doesn't really matter. I don't think we're going to be like losing anymore. Hopefully. That would be a bummer. Maybe we start looking for cats here. Here's some sauropods, alright. Let's refresh you. More sauropods. Each of immortality on you. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. how do we want to play this? Could run it here. Because now we can refresh the sauropod triggers here. Which may or may not be worth it. Unsure. Still deciding. I'm telling you, that is just such an awkward setup. When you're trying to not just get a ton of 50-50 sauropods, but you gotta think of your pivot angle too. We're at 13 peaches, which is really good. I think it's putting us in a good spot here. We got a cat number two, cat number three. This might be the, the pivot angle. Not sure yet, let's see. I wish we had a behemoth. You could throw the, the cat in here with the peach and all that. May we buff a cat? Can you ever do that? We also need to make sure we have a peach for next turn. I think we... Oh, that's beautiful. That is just beautiful. Freeze you. I don't have enough gold for you. I think at this point... We're just going to roll it down. Maybe find a behemoth. Another tofu is perfect. Set it up. I think we're in a good spot to win here. There's always a chance we go against some crazy team. This is a draw team. <laughs> Which is not going to draw. <laughs> we're a little too big for the draw teams, I guess. Okay. Let's go start here. We want to save the cats for when we have a behemoth. I don't mind just holding on to them for a second. We can go one cat here, open up a slot, perhaps. Go tofu. Three, six, nine, eleven. Maybe we just buy these two and then we can look for a behemoth. How much is this giving us? 15 times 3? 45, 45. Another peach? That's fantastic. See, this is one of those, like, are we are we using peaches, or are we trying to save them for a behemoth? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the best strat here. I'm trying to min-max the situation, and it's like, it's tricky. We can at least refresh some triggers here. Like, maybe we do this and just get a cat and refresh the cat triggers. But who's to say we're going to get a cat before the behemoth? That's the, the tricky part. If we were going for max peaches, we would have just played it by now. That's just not going to cut it. And none of this is going to cut it either. There we go. Okay, what are we looking at here? 
51, 51. So two cat leveled peaches gets us there. That's good to know. I think we don't mind doing two peaches here. Do we sell? I don't think so. Maybe we do. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, this is such a weird... I don't like this. This is such a, a weird angle that we're trying to play. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hoping for the peaches and I'm just not seeing them. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, next turn we're set up for a behemoth. If we can average one behemoth per turn, we're golden. One maxed out behemoth per turn. And then we'll have a couple of turns to get our last behemoth without our cat. I think that puts us in a pretty favorable spot. Yeah, these aren't even close. So we're going to have to sell you. I hate selling it before we use its triggers. Maybe we do this. And then we can hold the cat to refresh the triggers. Keep rolling. Come on. Give me something. I don't want to use any other foods because we got to find peaches. There we go. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the right play. Maybe that was too greedy. Let's go. Let me just do this. We go 60-60, that's pretty good. And I think it's gonna be a, we can flex a spot here. At a behemoth, that would be great. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we can go here and then we can tofu. That works. That'll do. A view, now we need more behemoths. We can find two behemoths. That would be, I think, ideal. I think that would put us in a good spot here. We're pretty much out of draw territory now that we have behemoths, um, which is unfortunate. I don't even think this team is going to do it. <laughs> it's not even close. Okay. It's a good effort, Thugzill. I respect it. Two peaches. That's good news. I think we just have to hold it. If we go here, we go here, so we use our sauropod triggers. And then I think we're just holding on. Two peaches is huge. This is the thing, are we using the peaches just to stack them up? <laughs> you know? Because we also need to get the sauropods out here. Like, we have to sell the sauropods as soon as we find a behemoth another tofu okay refresh the cat this is perfect I think this is exactly what we need there's the behemoth we get two peaches we'll get you to max now let's get one more behemoth maybe a couple of cats would be nice that's perfect. We got the, the peach. My look. Can we do this in three more turns? Can we finish out the team? <laughs> We're three fifths of the way there. I want to think that we can, but I don't know. It's going to be tight. Because keep in mind, we're not going to have a cat for the last behemoth. So it's strictly just getting lucky on peaches. And we're running out of money very quickly. Tofu's here. Man, we gotta... <laughs> if we don't find a behemoth, we're in trouble. This is tough. This is very tough. It's a, a dead turn. Didn't find a behemoth. And this is the brutal nature of this challenge. It's all about luck. Do we lose here? Two 
almost. That would have actually been great if we did. There he is. Okay. That, that took a while, but it's manageable. Um, roll me. I think we have to save this tofu for another peach. Or another behemoth. We're running out of time. There's two. Give me a behemoth, please. I'm begging you. We're so close. Alright, but we're only gonna have one turn left. That's the problem. In one turn, we have to get a behemoth <laughs> and four peaches. Oh, we're gonna have to lose or something. We're just gonna have to hope that we lose. There's the behemoth. We're gonna get max. Yeah, we're not even gonna get two peaches. Oh, come on. Come on, please. If we lose here, we might be able to do it. There's a chance. <laughs> there is a chance, and I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping at this point. We need two peaches next turn. Mate, no, we're one-shotting through the melon. They need coconut. No. I can't look. This is such a painful challenge. Ugh. It's... We had it set. I'm sure there's ways we could have played it more efficiently. But it's just that awkward middle ground where you're trying to pivot and scale peaches at the same time because you don't have an eternity. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Can anybody pull off the mythical five behemoth challenge here? I'm giving it my best shot.